Hi everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts Arne and Carlos. And today we're coming in out of our regular schedule, um, which is quite unusual for us. <laughs> we do like posting on Sundays, yes. but we have this um, extraordinary uh, and pretty cool project that we are announcing today. We have secretly been working on it for three years um, and it's a big one actually. Yeah. And we're really excited about it. And so we wanted to come in here and dedicate a whole episode to this. So let's start with the formalities in case we forget it, because mm. you have to remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> mm. So now that's said, yeah. but don't leave us because there's a lot of, we have a lot of things to tell you. Yeah, and you don't want to miss what we're going to be talking about. Um, so as I said, during the pandemic, we worked on a top secret project uh, that we're going to launch very soon. And, uh, but actually the project started a long time ago, um, or the idea for the project. We have to go back 10 years in time, not three years, but 10 years, back to 2014. Um, and 2014 just happened to be the year where Norway celebrated 200 years of receiving its constitution. Yeah. So throughout 2014, there were a number of uh, special projects going on culturally, all over Norway and also internationally. Yeah. And the Norwegian government invited Arne and me to participate in this uh, program of celebrations abroad. Uh, and uh, so we went to the, to the Orkney Islands, yeah. uh, to the St. Magnus Music Festival, um, where we um, gave a lot of lectures and, and things. And, and workshops. And workshops. And it was quite course, a lot of fun. Yeah, and of course it was the St. Magnus Festival. We had to do workshops with the garden mouse from our book. Yeah. Magnus, the garden mouse. Mm. So that fitted really in with the program. Yeah, and, and when, when Orkney has this music festival, the St. Magnus Festival, the whole island is uh, pretty much bo fully booked. All the hotels are booked. Um, and it's a small island, so obviously, with a lot of people there, it gets pretty crowded. Um, and we were we stayed in a lovely Scottish uh, bed and breakfast. <laughs> and the first morning when we came down for breakfast, um, we got to get to know a few of the other guests from Norway that were also staying in the bed and breakfast. They were all musicians from the Trondheim sol soloists. Yeah. Um, and the Trondheim soloists are, it's an ensemble of musicians um, um, usually for classical music, they, they have won many, they've been nominated to many I Grammy think, Awards think and they have yeah. actually won a few as well. It's an incredible music ensemble from Trondheim. Um, very, very cool people. And uh, we got to know a few of the people staying at the bed and breakfast. Yeah. And then we went on a sightseeing tour with them, didn't yeah. we? Yes, we did. And with a whole band. We, so a lot of the girls were knitters, actually. So we were not the only one knitting in the bus. So that was... A very good opening. <laughs> yeah. And then when we were at the rehearsals, yeah. uh, because we were doing our, our things, our lectures and all, but being guests of the Norwegian government in Orkney, we were part of the delegation that included the Trondheim soloists. Mm. So we, um, we spent a lot of time backstage uh, hanging out with them. And uh, yeah, a lot of the musicians, when they weren't rehearsing, they were knitting yeah. backstage. So it was quite, yeah, that quite was cool. Very fun. And then we started talking to um, Catherine, yep. who is there. Um, she's kind of she leads all the projects mm -hmm. uh, about that. And Catherine said that um, yeah, they do a lot of traveling. They yeah. go on a lot of buses. They uh, spend a lot of time, uh, uh, you know, moving from one place to the other. Um, and they do a lot of rehearsing as well. But they do need to focus. So knitting is a great way for them. You know, when they're on a bus. They knit and they kind of um, relax their brain yeah. and maybe go through the music that they're going to perform, something like that. Okay. So, uh, and that's when we start to talk about what if, what if we do a knitting concert together? Mm. So that was the first time we started to talk about it. And after a while, we actually did. Yeah, concerts. so, but it was a long process. So Very long. 2014, uh, we realized that we also have a lot in common yep. in terms of uh, the musicians. They um, interpret old music and we interpret old knitting patterns and mm. make modern patterns out of old. Um, composers do the same. I mean, the Trondheim soloists, they were recording, um, or sorry, they were playing several more modern pieces that were inspired by old Norwegian um, composers like yeah. Grieg and Svensson. So kind of like already there seeing that we have a lot in common mm. and we have a lot of um, similarities when we work. Yeah. 
Uh, and, um, and talking with Catherine about that, um, we said we really have to do something together. Yeah. But it took a while, didn't it? I mean, 2014, and then we were really busy yeah. the following few years, um, 15, 16, and so on. And then the pandemic came. Yeah. And, and we were stuck here. We were stuck here. And then at the time, Trondheim was the green city for a while. Yeah. And then we had the chance to go to Trondheim and we actually did two knitting concerts. And planned together with the Trondheim planned soloists. Planned together with the, the soloists and we filmed it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a very long, I mean, from the time we started planning until Trondheim became green. Because it was a... For a long time, uh, Norway was under lockdown, as most of the world or all the world was. Yeah. Um, so lockdown after lockdown after lockdown. Um, but in 2020, we were talking about it, you know, through Zoom with Catherine. And then in 2021, we started planning for it, just in case restrictions would ease off. And then, as Arne said, Trondheim became green in the sense that it was the place in, in Norway where um, the infections were not spreading. This is actually... In 2021, just in the middle of people being vaccinated. Mm. So there was a period in Trondheim where people could go out, yeah. masked, of course, but people were allowed to, to go out. Go to concerts. And go to concerts. <laughs> and uh, although it was restricted, there were, you know, you had to have, you could sit two people next to each other, but then you needed three seats or yeah, there was some something. Restrictions. Yeah. You, you, I'm sure you all remember <laughs> what it was like. But anyway, um, there was a, a, an opportunity to do a knitting concert. So Arne and I went yep. uh, to Trondheim and we spent um, about a week, 10 I days there. 10 days. Uh, yeah. Attended rehearsals and kind of figured out how we wanted to, um, to do this knitting concert. Um, and then we did it. Yeah. Um, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, so. We really did uh, spend uh, lots of time there doing uh, some really cool things. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then it kind of stuck. We, we did the concert. We actually had it filmed, a very professional three camera production, uh, which is why it's taken so long to get it ready. Um, and then afterwards, we actually went and we did a new um, knitting concert in 2022. Yeah. Then we did the concert in Nordheim soon on the West Coast. On the West Coast. So we took our knitting needles and the yarn and we took the beetle and we drove over the mountain. I think that was the Hardanger the Music Hardanger Festival. Hardanger Music Festival, yeah. I think it was. And we met the musicians and we did the third concert. Yeah. Which was re very fun. It was a lot of fun, yeah. So uh, usually um, when we do The Sound of Knitting, uh, well, sorry, when we do the, the, the concerts with the Trondheim soloists, which we're now calling The Sound of Knitting, uh, we're on stage with them. And uh, it is actually pretty cool. But, you know, um, to explain this in a better way, <laughs> yeah. I think maybe, you know what they say, uh, a picture uh, says more than a thousand words. So maybe we'll should look at this video yeah. and maybe you'll understand a little bit more of all the fun things that we're talking about. So um, here we go. <laughs> Welcome to the sound of knitting. We're in our dressing room yeah, and we are so nervous. Join the world-renowned designers Anna and Carlos. Let's just warm these needles up a little bit. And the Grammy-winning Trondheim Solistner for an event where knitting and music merge into one unique experience. An experience so special that it has to be shared with the world. Now you can access the full experience of the sound of knitting. You can knit along with Anna and Carlos as Trondheim Solistna perform breathtaking, carefully curated musical masterpieces. Or you can just sit back and enjoy the magic. In addition to full access to the concert, performed at historic Ringwe Music Museum in Trondheim, you get access to a masterclass on how to knit the famous Selbuvot in a design made by Anna and Carlos. Get to learn the history behind the Selbuvot as told by locals. The story of Ringwe, a 400-year-old farm that has now been turned into a music museum. An inspiring conversation between Anna and Carlos and the artistic director for Trondheim Solistner, Geir Inge Lutzberg, about design and music. And behind-the-scenes material with Anna and Carlos 
and Trondheim Solisna. For a limited time only, you can now get this fantastic experience, the sound of knitting. Yeah, so this was, uh, yeah, I guess the cat is out of the bag now and we can out. finally talk about the sound of knitting, <laughs> the, um, the project that we have been working on for so long, um, which is kind of like, um, I don't know, how, how would you describe it? It's the, it's the, the place where the musicians and the knitters meet, I yeah, guess. It is. And uh, you can knit to the music and you re will be so relaxed. Yeah, that's exactly what we did uh, when we went on stage with the, the Trondheim soloists. Um, it was actually pretty cool. They came on holding their instruments. We came on holding, holding our needles, needles. Um, and we bowed to yes, the audience, we did. didn't we? Yeah. And then we sat down. And that felt very strange. Yes. <laughs> Bowing with your needles, but we did it. Mm. And then we knit to the music yeah. for an hour. Um, and as you all know, uh, storytelling is a very uh, important uh, Scandinavian tradition. Yep. Yeah. And also, so we have been storytelling. So we, we've been telling stories in between the music. Yeah. So they play and we tell stories and we knit. And there's another thing also when you sit and you knit to the music, your the ten, the speed of your knitting changes. Mm. Sometimes when the music is quick, you you knit quicker, and for slower music, slower. But you also feel that you move your needles according to the music. Yeah. You're almost, almost like you're conducting the music mm -hmm. and it's very relaxing. It's very relaxing. We designed a pattern uh, for a, a mitten yep. and a wrist warmer uh, and it's especially or specifically um, designed for the music that we are or that were was being performed on stage that night so it was a lot of Grieg, Svensson, some Mozart and a couple of modern pieces which are quite amazing yep. and out of this world. Uh, and uh, and the um, the pattern, the way it went, is kind of like for the you know, some of the swirls are for the slower uh, parts the of, the, uh, the of the um, of the music, yeah. and some of the swirls were for more for the faster segments, especially the Mozart, Eine kleine Nachtmusik, yeah. which is kind of the 18th century party music. Yeah. Then so you actually, need to party. One the top of the mitten has the swirls and the curls, and then the inside of the mitten had more rhythm. So mm. you get into the rhythm of the knitting. Yeah. So um, <laughs> it was quite cool seeing uh, the whole the whole audience. Uh, although it was only one third of what the maximum capacity was because yeah. uh, because of the situation at the time. But it was really fun seeing the audience partake in this together with us. Um, I was on stage with Arne yeah. and um, I could hear the sounds of metal needles <laughs> as yeah. so, the music went on. Could you? Yeah, yeah. so you, if you're going to listen to the concert and knit at the same time, you should bring your metal needles. Yeah. It gives something extra to the music. Yeah. So today we are here to offer you this, uh, this very special project or so that you can take part in it as well. Um, it was originally a live concert, but mm. we have now um, recorded it. Yeah. And in addition to uh, the concert itself that lasts an hour, there's a tutorial for the mitten. Yeah, and we also went to Selbu to the museum so you can see the Selbu mittens yeah. and we talked to a local lady. So yeah. we learned a lot about the Selbu mittens. Yeah, if you want to learn about something, we always recommend to learn from the locals. The locals, that's where all the knowledge is. So why learn it from us? <laughs> yeah. Who are, I mean, we're, we're locals when it comes to Norway, yeah. but we're not locals when it comes to Trondheim or, um, or Selbu. And Selbu is only an hour away from Trondheim. We spent 10 days there yeah. rehearsing with the, with the Trondheim soloists. So it was like, Let's go to Selbu and let's talk to some locals. We set up um, something in the beautiful uh, Selbu Museum. Yep. Um, and Selbu is the world famous for its amazing mittens. And the story is fascinating. Um, so um, in addition to the concert, uh, we are telling uh, the story yep. uh, with the help of a local who um, shows us around as well in this remarkable museum. Yeah, and we also went to the Ringve Museum, and that's the museum with of music, of yes. music and instruments. Which and is where we performed. That's where we performed. <laughs> that sounds so strange. Yeah. Like you go on the stage and you knit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your performance. Knit, but uh, together with a <laughs> Grammy-nominated and Grammy award-winning uh, ensemble. You put on your best clothes and you have to bow for the public, the yes. audience. Audience, that's the word. 
fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. There's also <laughs> a, um, a talk with the artistic director where we actually conclude after talking to him for 45 minutes an hour that we do have a lot in common yeah. when it comes to inspiration um, and, um, and the way we work. It's different genres, but yeah. similar ways of doing it. It is. And of course, uh, we couldn't help but uh, go backstage. Uh, and talk a little bit with um, the musicians. So um, here's a little clip for you guys. Classical concerts, maybe you, you are expecting people to be quiet and, and you always react to some noises, but uh, this time uh, these knitting noises were actually quite, uh, yeah, it was quite cozy actually to like hear something going on and, and um, yeah, people were making some, uh, something as, uh, at the same time as uh, they were making music on stage. So yeah, the, these are the lovely musicians, some of them. And um, I have to say, when we started rehearsals, uh, the first day, everybody was so shy. Yeah, but and we had I walked a really in. Good time. Yeah, we did. But I walked in there, and I was like, "Oh my god!" I mean, look at <laughs> look at these people. They play. I mean, they they've been nominated to Grammys. They play uh, instruments that are three hundred years old. I don't know, probably a Stradivarius or two. <laughs> <laughs> and, and here are Arne and me coming in with bamboo needles. And you can feel and, the nerves. And you can feel yeah. very small. You feel like you are, uh, you're like a no one, a nobody. And apparently that's what they thought of us too, for some bizarre reason. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but it, was, it was nice, like being backstage and you feel, you have that... Um, Energy. You feel the nerves yeah. kind of in the room. And we joked around with them and, and, and it turned yeah. out that we were actually uh, all equals there. Yeah. And it's so different from if we go around the world and we do lectures or we do workshops. We ha don't have nerves for these things. Never. But this one, this was this kind was, yeah. of something. It was more, uh, it's like it was not only us. We had yeah. to do a good job with the knitting because yeah. of all the musicians. Well, I wasn't <laughs> so nervous when it came to the audience because we are used to big audiences. Yeah, but it was before they had that, that thing in behind the scene before you enter the stage yeah. and as soon as you come to the stage it's fine but it's just it's building up be yeah. before you go out it is stage. yeah but for me the nerves actually came back from meeting me meeting the musicians not the audience <laughs> no. and kind of feeling that um what are we doing here kind of yeah. thing uh, but you know they were all lovely, and um, and we knew one of these girls from before because we stayed. Well, in both the of same, them. Yeah, we stayed in the same well, hotel. Yeah, in Orkney. In Orkney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, both of them were in the yeah. same hotel. One of them had one of our sweaters, I think. Yes, and I and don't remember which one. I can't remember either. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> very nice girls. Um, and I was talking to some of the guys behind the scenes as well, and they were giving me tips on, you know, how to how to behave on stage with the musicians and <laughs> and all that, which I thought was fun. Um, of course, coming in in the end to bow, and, and then they doing this, you know, like yeah. get up and, and uh, you know take your applause was quite and you, fun. <laughs> and we, but I think we put on our floral shirts or something. We did, yeah. And you had socks with um, cherries on. Cherries on. Yeah. So we didn't fit in quite yeah. as well, but it was fun. And uh, <laughs> of course, uh, we went home very uh, invigorated and inspired. Yeah. Speaking of people who were inspired, Arnett, one of the musicians uh, really went home and uh, started composing music for knitting. Yeah, based on the pattern. Yeah, and he is quite the character. Um, you're going to love him as much as we do. So here's a little clip from that. I'm, I'm imagining some kind of melody that... Uh... Thank you, music and knitting lovers. So oh, I think that was cool. Yeah, I mean, how, 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 how wonderful it is to be able to inspire a world-class musician like him. I think that's into the composing, first time for us. Yeah, into composing music um, inspired by knitting. It is really cool. And hopefully one day he will write a whole symphony. <laughs> we'll call it the symphony of knitting. <laughs> Uh, yes. But as it is now, as it is of now, we've got the sound of knitting yeah. coming. It's coming very soon, um, and uh, you will be able to access it. Yes, you are. Yep. So there's a link. 
down in the down description in the below. Description. Yeah, and that will take you to the website yeah. where you can uh, check out uh, a lot of stuff. And if you have any suggestions, make sure to put them in the comments as well. And we will try to um, answer them for us. Any questions, any suggestions that you may have. But now, finally, after three years, we can <laughs> let the cat out. We've let the cat out of the bag. The sound of knitting is here and it is unstoppable. It is. And um, yeah. we really look forward <laughs> to sharing this with you in the near future. And when we're talking about soon, we're talking about it coming right around the corner. So and now keep our Arna, eyes peeled. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled. And now <laughs> we can finally let a deep breath. Do that. And <gasps> because we <laughs> do that because we finally can let the secret out um, and we don't have to keep this in anymore. No. Three and now we can years. plan new things. Yes. Three years in the making, three years, three in, years the in the planning. Um, the camera production is amazing. I mean, considering we worked with three cameras. And actually, I saw some pictures on Instagram from the concert we did, when we did the concert in Trondheim. Yeah. So there were some people who, who understood that we did something. Yeah. Secret. And they're probably wondering, <laughs> when is this coming when out? When is it coming? It's, when it's, is it coming It's out? coming now. <laughs> it's coming soon. So, <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled. And we want to thank you all for watching. And uh, go to the website, check out The Sound of Knitting. Um, and uh, I hope that you uh, love it just as much as we do. So nick to the music. Nick to the music. And uh, we'll see you again very, very soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sound of muttons, 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 muttons knitting. <laughs> so, this is the sound of mitten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's behind the zebra. <laughs>